Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VL Buzz Weekly. Guess what? We are back with part two with David Alden. Did you watch part one? I hope so, because here we go. Let's get buzz. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VL Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. The conversational mm. non-announcer. Yeah. Promo, promo, mm-hmm. David. What is that about? I think we we. What are they saying? What are they in saying? Your in my opinion, just be you. You know, you they're they're still that's see it's such a uh, it is a million dollar six million dollar or however much you're mm. making that year yep. hundred million dollar question, <laughs> is that there's a fine line between being conversational, but still being dramatic or or having a sense of. You're doing a commercial. Yeah. No, you can't hide the fact that you're doing a promo. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's still there, but there's an element of the way you do it or the way we do it, and it's not the old big voice. It's right. just. But even guys with big voices who say I can do this, and I say, but do it like in your normal voice because your pipes are so big anyway. You don't have to push. Don't push. Right. Exactly. Right. Just be you. Yeah. And right. if you're just you conversationally, that tone will come through. Mm-hmm. And the same thing for women. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. You don't have to like you know. You know, add some perk. <laughs> coming up on HGTV, you know, or whatever yes. the show or whatever yes. it is that you know we get too perky. Is just talk to us, mm-hmm. and like we're in your home, but you just got there instead yeah. of like you're in your home or sitting like this. But right. like when you greeted me, hey, how's it going? We go, we do get a little more. Again, we get more animated. We'd come up, and so we want that sort of thing. I think in a conversational read is your authentic read. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think it's important mm-hmm. to like this. Go with that. The enthusiasm. The enthusiasm. So when you're directing a promo for a network, Mm -hmm. um, uh, or a network promo. (laughs) Yeah, um, AKA network promo. So so you're sitting here, you have this promo in hand, Mm -hmm. right? You didn't necessarily write the promo. Right. Does the promo have specs? Who is telling you Mm -hmm. what we want out of this read, or are you just doing whatever you feel needs to be? How does that work? Usually it comes with a scra- with a scratch from the writer producer. Okay. So they have they have sort of a, kind of what they want they, because they're they're part of their thing with the writing producing. They want to have the kind of read that they're looking for. I see. So so literally there's a scratch. There's usually a scratch track. Okay. Uh, and if there isn't a scratch track, if you say if it was one of those ones that just has a tag at the end, mm. they have to as the voiceover actor they still need to listen to the music. So that at the end they're not going, hey, blah, 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 and it's like dun dun dun. Exactly. You know? <laughs> right, right. So there is a, a tone. Yeah. Um, oftentimes, once the show's been set, they kind of know the tone of the show. Yeah. Right. Unless it has, it's a, it's a, a drama that may have a little tongue in cheek in it once in a while. Sure. Mm-hmm. So they have to know where the turn is. So if it starts out a little fun, and, and then, then turns, and then because the B story or something changes, yeah. or the, or maybe it's the dark part. But then so and so, the you know the, yeah. the sidekick does something silly. So right. they have to know the tone. But once they're like the voice of, they kind of know what their what their what their gig is. I'm sorry, and that's what the scratch will kind of represent. That kind of represents Who that. Who normally would do a scratch? Well, usually it's a writer producer. Oh, in, so in it's room. not really a professional voice actor. Well, it's, you know, but they Ish. but they have enthusiasm. They have enthusiasm. <laughs> they read it with enthusiasm, like they like they would do it. But again, there some of them might be, or, or they have good voices, or or they don't, and it doesn't matter what they what they're trying to get across is the tone. The yeah. But they are okay. the source of the content. So, right. so, they so have... good enough for right. you to get a really good yeah. idea. Right. For, the, they... for the voiceover guy to get a really okay. good read, uh, you might have a, a creative come in or, or send an email or a note, on, or it might be a note on script saying, mm. yeah. kind of do this, we want this tone, you know, they might have a specific. So we get, there's a lot of input from different mm-hmm. places, sure. whether it's, if it's not the writer producer, it would be the creative director or, or, their, uh, or it's a co-creative effort. Let's right, put it that right. way. So sometimes, but we all, as far as the, the directing crew, uh, the producing crew, we all try to like get a little coverage. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm big on, like there might be a, uh, an audio guy who says, I just like one take. So, and I chime in, because I had, a, I had a voice actor ask, so do you guys like um, to have like multiple takes or just one? And the audio guy says, I kind of like just one. And I, and I said, I prefer, <laughs> Yeah. Because it's not I want, and it's not I want to be a control freak or anything like that. My preference is to have a handful. Because I think once you got it, say say he's a first take kind of guy, does it, boom. But I like to, because it's like that Seinfeld episode. There might be gold, Jerry. There's gold. You know, <laughs> right. you might get that. You right. might get. You might get a line mm-hmm. that you didn't. That we all didn't think of, even against the, at scratch. And yeah. so right. I prefer a, a few yeah. because you know you might get something that's like, oh, that's it. 
Yeah. And Interesting. It, might, it has a nice flavor. Something to it. It, it has more. It is more conversational. Yeah. Right. Or maybe it just took a different twist. And that's kind of like that's mm -hmm. that. That's why I like to do more than just, you know, one or yeah. two. I like to get a few. Yeah. Um, and it, maybe it's a little more work to like throw another track on for the, you know, the Pro Tools or whatever. But it, that's just part of the deal. It's mm -hmm. just part of what I, you know, the way I work. Yeah. And I always feel that that's the word I used earlier. Is co it's a co-creative process. It's not just me doing this or the writer producer or the. It's everybody. It's we're all trying to do the same thing. We're trying to get a promo out the door. Yeah. Right. You know. And so however it works to get it there, mm -hmm. whether it's and the voice actor chiming in, say, hey, I, you know, I got an idea for this. You know, and that's great. I never say no. Mm -hmm. You know, unless he's gone like on take twenty-five. Yeah. <laughs> Can I do that again? You're like, no, nope, like, gotta go. But uh, like, sometimes, we, sometimes we have to because I got, I'm like LaGuardia, I'm backed up, man. I got <laughs> yeah. another VO person. Yeah, and yeah. Then, or I might be working in another VO room and I gotta get this guy mixing and I gotta mm -hmm. run to another room. So sometimes it is that sort of thing, but you don't leave, I don't leave the room until I get what I get and right. I, what I need and what I want right. and what I prefer. Um, and then go on from there. So, but yeah. you still need to do this in a pretty, Quick S sometimes, matter. yeah. Right. I mean, we're producing sometimes 100 spots, 200 spots a day. Ooh. So it's not all just me. Again, there's a number of, of us who do this. Yeah, but still, that's, even if there's yeah. whatever nine but of you, the time that's, that's the how he gets to 50,000, by the way. <laughs> you don't get to 50,000 doing two a day. Yeah. 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 Uh, and that's what some of us in the trailer world, when I came from the trailer world to the TV world, mm -hmm. that was a little bit of like, because I would take a 30-second spot to like Mix Magic or SSI yeah. or wherever I was right. working in Hollywood. And it's like... I got all making, the time in the what world. What do you really want for lunch today? Because you're going to be there that long, even though you yeah. got there at nine o'clock, you know. And so you would work on, uh, you know, a, a trailer, two minute trailer for like all day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or and come back next day maybe, mm -hmm. you know. So it would yeah. got to be. So, but when you get to the TV world, it's like it's broadcast news. It's that old film, you know, with yeah. Albert right. Brooks and stuff. It's right. it's like. Yeah. We're, we're going to lose our satellite or, or yeah, our fiber yeah. feed now or whatever yeah. it is yeah. these days or file. It has to get somewhere. Yeah. yeah, and it's like everyone's, but everyone works. It's just, it's amazing how it all meshes together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone's well, you doing got their it down. bit. It's, yeah. a, it's a machine. Yeah. It's, it's a, a machine, world. and everyone does their yeah. part so well. And it, I think, I think it's just amazing how it all comes together. Yeah. What about, what about when you're directing a trailer, mm -hmm. and the verbiage that the <laughs> the, the the part is starts Friday, right? And that's all there is. All I mean, there is. You're, like. What goes tell that into story. tell no, that story? Starts right. <laughs> <laughs> How do you? No, no, seriously. Yeah. Like, is there a lot of different direction that goes into that, or what's the? So Batman, the first one with mm -hmm. with Don LaFontaine, yeah, mm -hmm. and he he he's told the story many times about he could have built another wing to his home just with the Batman money, yeah, because it was you know the Dark Knight and all this stuff, and it came down to opens June eighteenth, so it did go through a number of. Of things, mm -hmm. I mean, a number yeah. of reads, a number of because it all goes back again. Uh, it goes back to the creative director, the director, the producer. It goes back to uh, again, people just chiming in because they're shaping it, especially right. the trailer. It's got to go through almost a year, maybe, right. for a teaser. You, may, you know, another maybe another year and a half True, for the tra actual they, trailer. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. So there's a number of ways to mold it, and that's what they're doing with trailers and things. They're molding it, and once they get a direction or a take. That's what they go with. So it does come down. There's be like a lot of copy, and it does come down right. to like boom. And so, what is the motivation? Because obviously, sometimes when you hear a trailer, it's very voiceover mm -hmm. motivated, and sometimes it is starts Friday right. or you know in theaters now. Mm -hmm. um, what what are those conversations? And maybe you can't answer this, but what are those conversations that suddenly go from it's voiceover driven to right. rated PG thirteen? Right. Well, it, well, for at least in is the, it economics? Is it, it? It's a lot of times it's economics. Sometimes, or sometimes I should say a lot. Sometimes it's economics. Sometimes it's just it's just taking a different tone. They just mm -hmm. say, you know what? Because uh, for a trailer, they usually get that blanket sell of what the story is. Yeah. Right. So there's no not normally a I mean, rated PG thirteen because you're seeing it in the theater. Mm -hmm. um, it's when you get the trailers, the TV spots for, for TV. trailers yeah, for movies, right. for theatricals right. yeah. that have to have that because right. that's an MPA thing that has to be there. That's why right. some these days you hear them so fast. I know. Like, <laughs> <that's>... <laughs> You know, yeah. they squeeze them in there. But sometimes it's just a matter of the cell. What, the, what is, you might have five different theatrical TV spots, but they all have a different cell. Mm -hmm. right. So one might have a lot more copy behind it, another one might not have anything. I think when we did, uh, when I worked, I worked on Backdraft way back, uh, and that was one of the first traders that oh, didn't have yeah. VO, and people were like, it doesn't have voiceover, <laughs> you know? But yeah. it was Ron Howard, and it was a thing, yeah. and we were, you know, we were doing this, all these things we did all the print work for it and everything and it was just the flames were the character that was the whole yeah, thing so when you true. watch the trailer you just kind of go star. 
wow. You know, yeah. so it's kind of, it runs the gamut of who gets involved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and the, but it usually comes down to the producer and the director. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not only that, yeah. um, there's also a cut for the males mm -hmm. and a cut for the females. Sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes. Because sometimes, right? Because yeah. we actually went to a studio, we can't yes. say where it is, but yes. they showed us the mm -hmm. two versions and mm -hmm. we were like, the female wow. driven and the male driven. And they driven. pointed out the differences so, and we're like, oh my God, yes. it's so evident yeah. if you know, but if you don't, yeah. know, you don't know, it's subliminal. Yeah, yeah. our business is mm -hmm. pretty 24 seven, right. 365. Um, you know, I always say like, it's like you're, you're never off the clock. Mm -hmm. So how do you balance that 24 seven-ness of it with just life? I mean, we all have our full lives, we all have our, mm -hmm. our work lives, we have our personal lives, we have our own inner life. And I think that's the thing, is to connect to the inner self now and then, take care of, it's like, it's honoring the self. Yeah. Self-care, self-nurturing. You know, um, I think that's such an important thing in, in a world where we're constantly, whether you're you know, at a high-end level and you're sort of tied to your booth, yeah. you know, yeah. um, you need to take time for yourself. And I think it's important because it's like you almost have to date yourself. You have to like take yourself out for a bite <laughs> yes. somewhere nice. Yeah. You know, take yourself yeah. to an art gallery just to just to get out a of yourself. I think art galleries are great because they, they're visual and that whole Picasso thing, art washes the soul clean or whatever it is. That's what art does, you know. And I think that's the thing. You gotta take care of yourself. Self nurturing, self honoring, honor what mm -hmm. you do mm -hmm. um, by celebrating yourself. Like you get a gig or you did a good audition or you just had a great day. Honor yourself. I'm gonna treat myself to something, whether it's, yeah. I, I'm gonna walk to the beach, or I'm gonna walk, take a hike in, in the hills, or whatever it is. I think self-care mm -hmm. is like, and self-honoring are kind of go hand in hand. Yeah. So yeah, I think, I you know, that. in a busy yeah. life, we gotta yeah. like, and especially when we're- And it's important, yeah. Wherever you live, uh, voiceover guys I've met, you know, I live in Colorado, I'm so, you're so lucky. You can just <laughs> go outside and you're like, in the yeah. mountains, you know, wherever yeah. you are. But I think it's just, wherever you are, and even if it's a meditative thing, and even if it's a thing, I'm gonna listen to Chuck and Stacy. I'm just gonna, but really, I'm gonna sit down and watch something that inspires me. Right. And I think right. finding things that inspire you keep you going. Mm -hmm. So whether it's your show or listening to going on to you know, Voice Bank and listening to different actors, I'm gonna listen to ten guys uh, that do promos. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna listen to five gals who do animation that I admire. You know, find things that inspire us mm -hmm. keeps us sane yeah. from all that stuff, the, yeah. from the noise. Mm -hmm. You gotta denoise once yeah. in a while, kinda like you know, gotta like declick and yeah. denoise yeah. and yes. just chill yes. and just go back to what why you're doing what you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that. That's really, really so. cool. Wonderful advice. Um yeah. you just hit a little topic which is kinda cool. Um how do you have any advice for people out there to when they're practicing on their own, mm -hmm. like particularly let's like, say promos, trailers, or even commercials, what are some things that they could do um to effectively practice on their own? I think it's it's a matter of reading copy every because again, at least in the promo trailer world, those guys who that we all like, oh, I want to be that guy mm -hmm. um, or gal, is that they do it every day. So if I say to a voice actor, "Are you reading every day? Are you reading every day?" <laughs> you yeah. know, uh, yeah, I, 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 read, I read some copy. You know, it's like yeah. they, they get five scripts and they, they yeah. read it once and they read it out loud. They, they might record it or something. But are you reading every day? at a level, like a, not, not just, oh, I threw something together. Mm -hmm. Don't it, have an intention. I like to talk about intentions. Mm -hmm. What's my intention for the day? What's my intention if I go in the booth to practice? What's my intention? Am I here just to read, randomly read? Or do I select copy for myself that I think I'm good for mm -hmm. and, and really work on it like that was a job that right, day? with focus. And yeah, with focus, yeah. intention. Yeah. What's my, and I think mm -hmm. you know, once we have a in, clear intention, then we don't get muddled about what we're doing in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so if I'm going to practice my copy, I'm going to practice. You right, know, I'm going right. to do it. And like I said, find someone who inspires you. You don't have to copy their style because that's who they are. Mm -hmm. But prototypes are great for inspiration. Yes. You know, yeah. yes. especially if yes. you're in the same tone Absolutely. as that person. And, yes. and musicians yes. do that all yeah. the time. Right. right? Totally. Yes. You always grow up you, and you say you want to become mm -hmm. a rock star right. and you're a guitar player. Right. What do you do? You emulate other no. guitar players. That's it. And eventually you end up becoming. Jimmy Page. There you go. Right? That's it. Yeah. yeah. I had a friend the other day, she, she said, um, I was listening to this track and I was sitting at my drums and I just started to like, you know, but she was going, to, uh, she was kind of doing it with the music she was listening to yeah. mm -hmm. that was, a, you know, some label, I don't remember the label or the other artist, but she was just like doing it. 
And she says, that's how you get good. You just start, yep. you hear the music and you do it. I have a friend yeah. who he blows a horn and he's always practicing, yeah. you know, every day. Yeah. You know, he just like blows, man. And, and if, you know, he listens, he's a big jazz guy. And he's like, got to do it. You have to yeah. do it. You got to yeah. do the work. Because if you don't, you, you kind of like, again, like I was saying, that whole thing about uh, process, you know, mastery, mastery, it, sometimes when we don't do it, we do fall back a little mm -hmm. bit. It's like, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, and it's a muscle, you know, you have to use that mouth, you know, bring the sound to the front, bring it to the mask. If you're a low bass guy, how do I speak in, how do I speak from up here? as to always down here or something, you know, you right, have to play with right. your instrument yes. and find out where, you know, this is a lighter, brighter, but they don't want it. Oh, well, it's an older guy, yeah. you know, but you want it brighter, you know, like, um, it's Michael Bell. Um, yeah. yeah, he's been around a long time, but he still has that bright sound. And it's just like, dude, you sound so, I mean, I right. was like that, he's right. like 20. And he comes <laughs> in, I'm like, dude, you're like me. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. But he's awesome. That's what I was, I was always admiring of him. Yeah. You know, another um, Bo, Bo Weaver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's one of those guys that who I so admire because he, oh, he has that sort of Zen feel and spirituality about mm -hmm. beginner's mind. That sort of Zen yep. thing. Right. Every time, don't think you know you're the, the shit. <laughs> yeah. If, you know, be a beginner every time you step in there so that you're open yeah. to the wonder. Yeah. You're open to direction. Mm -hmm. You're coachable. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Yeah. You can't, if you're not coachable, that means you're, if you're not willing to have a conversation and you're set on a position, unless you get off your position, you can't have a right. conversation and right. you can't Absolutely. grow. It's like saying no to an improv. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, no. Well, if yeah. It's one answer. Yeah. yeah. It's like, how you doing? Good. Yeah, you know, exactly. Fine. You know. yeah. And yeah. Just a little yeah. quick anecdote. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. You have to a be quick little anecdote about all. Bo, yeah. Bo Weaver and just show that part of him mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. a little while ago, um, he calls me up and he goes, hey, Chuck, I want to do a promo demo with you. And I'm like, okay. And I said, you know, why do yeah. you? And he goes, listen, I'll be honest with you. I've always produced all my own demos because I know how to do it, yeah. you know? Um, and he goes, but I've been listening to my demos and I know that if I produce my own demo, I know what I'm going to end up with, mm -hmm. which is the same thing I always end up with. So I want a completely different, fresh mm -hmm. perspective. So yep. I'm going to come in and I want you to tell me what, I, what you want me to do. Wow. To that's get something awesome. new, right? Yeah. That's and growing. That's so growing. It is. And yeah. he came in here. He was in that booth, and I would so give him great. direction, and he'd be like, "Oh, okay, well, that's interesting. I wasn't really thinking about it like mm -hmm. that." And he was like a little kid in there. He was so right. excited wow. about just doing. He was there was at no time did mm -hmm. he go like, eh, "I don't know about that." Yeah, yeah. never. Yeah. He never so did open. that. See, that's yeah. that sort of like yeah. Wayne Dyer thing. It's like be attached to nothing and open to everything. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's just like yes. you, we all have these things that you're going to do something. Yeah. But don't be attached to the outcome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because it's not life is not an event. It's a Absolutely. process. Absolutely. Right. And so yeah. is our voiceover journey. You know, it's 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 a process. Yeah. If you arrive at the you know head of the line as a as a voiceover guy. You're still in process. Yeah, yeah you're, you're still st in line. It's, you're still in line. Yeah. You're still Absolutely. just keep yeah. at it. You know. Yeah. It's just be open to like what comes. Yeah. Yeah. You know? The joy is um, in the journey, as they absolutely. say. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, quick question, man. Mm -hmm. What do you? What is like the main big trend right now in promo uh, for males mm -hmm. and even females? What, what is like the big thing that they're calling for? I think it's what we touched on earlier. Besides but, conversational, but that's a kind of bit more. where it's. But see, that always depends on the spot, the show. Yeah. You know, sometimes it wants they want something big and, yeah. and mm -hmm. announcery. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes it's just like let's just give them the story and, and help the story along because it's always about the story. Right. You know, like it's like any. You know, if the script comes first, the story comes first. That's what it is. I think conversational because it's a kind of an overused word that let's make it conversational but we you know for lack of a better word that's what we have yeah. because we want to sound like we're talking to someone we're inviting someone in yeah. but we don't want to pound them over the head exactly you know because we, we used to get that a lot yeah so pounding over the head is old school that's yeah. kind of what's kind of I mean it's still still there I still think, there yeah. a little bit you still, still there you're, you're still, and those Not guys are still working yep. but I think it's an amalgamation of, of a little bit of both because yeah. mm -hmm. I think you just can't have one and not the, I mean, it's, it, that's what makes life, it's like, it's a right. spice of life. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they kind of right. go together. So when, it, when, it's, when it's needed, it's, that's what it's called for. But I think it just, it's more, being more authentic and real. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm no expert. Oh, wait, I am. No. Uh, that's why you're here, <laughs> David. Well, oh, now you tell we us. We thought oh. you were the expert, so I was we just invited you. Pizza. <laughs> yeah. When you think about some life lessons that you've had mm -hmm. along the way, do any stick out to you that have helped you in your career? I think it's just that realizing that everything is relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, besides your 
your personal relationship if you have a, a significant other, that relationships is all is everything we do. You know, we go to work, we have work relationships. If we're on the freeway, we have relationships with people even though we don't want them. Right. You know, it's all about relationship. We're in this world in relationship. And once we master and start to learn, so you can master this, but it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. And realizing that once we're in relationship with whoever we're with, we're working with, or, or anything, it, that's what the key is. And I think once I know that, when I found that out, it's like, oh, mm. even somebody I don't know, it's that I'm just having a conversation with and find the essence of them, if I can, to find out what's awesome about them. Find the loving essence is the, the key yeah. word. Yeah. Um, and that's, is to find out what's like, wow, this person has, you know, they have an interesting way of speaking or they have a, a there's something in their eyes, that are, they're, they're, there's something about them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you find that positive thing. You, are, you might be in a meeting I remember when I was working in trailers, there was a big circular table, you know, and so you go sit down at a big circular table, and um, the director from a movie might be there, and mm -hmm. everyone's talking and whatever, and you just, and I'm like, you just gotta love these people. Yeah. Because that's all yeah. we all want, right? We all just yeah. want that. So if we share the love, heard, even if it's within, yeah. and we're just sort of like, I'm here to be of service, I'm here to be loving, I'm here to be creative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel like I'm on the planet to do, is just be those things. And so those then go into the relationships. It's not always easy. It doesn't, right. I mean, it's not like, oh yeah, hey man, how's it going? It's all yeah. cool. Yeah. But yeah. Because, well, it's the ones that challenge us. Right. Well, that's that, where that we the mirror, the that's the mirror that yeah. comes up against us that we need, oh, what's the lesson here? Mm -hmm. So the most challenging lessons can be those challenging people. Love it. And so when you have yes. a challenging director or a challenging voiceover guy that I'm directing or voiceover gal, it's like, you know. The girls are never challenging, they, well, David. They're not, the and dudes. you're right. It's always the dudes. Just had like, to speak up. Yeah, what's up with that, time. dudes? The dudes are like, dude, I'm so good. Yeah. I bring baked goods. How can I be challenging? <laughs> <laughs> baked goods. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but really, it's that sort of thing. It's like when you, like, if you're a voiceover guy and you show up on the line, yeah. say something. Hey, man, like Joe, when Joe gets super young, gets on the yeah. ISDN. Hey guys, how's it going? He's so happy to be I there. Know. He's so enthusiastic. Yeah. Um, and sometimes you get guys like, like, are you there? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm like, well, say something. Like, I'm sorry, did say, I interrupt you? Yeah. It's like, because it, that's the thing we were talking about earlier. Don't get so comfortable with yourself and your and where you are, right. because as um, John Leader and other other voice actors have told me, that we all know the wave's going to end. You know, so ride the wave as long as you can, you know, and so just be there, be present, be joyful. Yeah. So when those kind of guys get on the line, it's like, boom, let's play. Yeah. Yep. The challenges that come up with, with act, but that's, but then it's a creative medium. True. Yep. You know, and yeah. I, I've had guys, you know, say like, well, and you could hear the, <sighs> Oh yes. you know, and, and I'm on the other side kind of going, really, we're paying you and you're yeah. giving me the, <sighs> You could at least mute that. You could mute it. There's a yeah. mute, you know. It happens. But again, yeah. you know, we all get frustrated, whether it's, you know, uh, you know, sometimes copy doesn't get to us till like after their time is designated to yeah. hook yeah. up with them. Sometimes we, you know, have a change and yeah. right in the middle of the read, right. got a phone rings, hang on a second. You know, we got a change. And then you hear, we get you have a client, but you're mine right now. Yes. It's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of the beast. And so, so you have to be in gratitude and accept that that's part of it. Or, you know, you make be another flexible. choice. You're not, being, you're not a hostage. You're not Make a hostage. You, have, you know, you, yeah. you asked for this. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Enjoy it. You know, yes. Not only that, you have yes. the best job yes. in the yes. freaking world. I know. <laughs> My well, goodness No gracious. deep sighing. Mute yeah. it Mute if you're going to sigh. Have, you know, but again, you know, we, we sure. all have, again, it's that whole thing about the yeah. life keeps going and we think that yeah. we got to get caught up in that instead of staying present to the moment. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's the thing about what you asked me about what I learned is that being present to the moment that I'm in mm -hmm. and enjoying that and loving it so that we can be present to each other mm -hmm. and bring out the best creative beings that we are with yeah. each other. Yeah. And yeah. it's a, like I said, it's co-creative so, so that when you're, when you're joyful with me on the ISDN line and I'm joyful with you and we're just getting it done. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there is no time for like, we all got to rock and roll. Yeah. Like yeah. Don used to say, toss me the ball. <laughs> Toss me the ball. And like, he just says, like, I got like five studios behind you, yep. another network. Yep. Let's go. And yep. so, you know, we just get to the, cut to the chase. Boom. Done. I love it. Talk to you later. Well, here's the great yeah. news. Ready? Yeah. You Stacey. can keep up with David on Twitter at MyVOCoach. Yep. And get this, okay? You can work with David as a coach one on one. 
Absolutely. It's bananas. <laughs> Absolutely. And you need to. <laughs> and hey, David, I wanted to ask you something. Your specialties in, in coaching, uh, besides promo and trailer, is there also commercial in other areas or mainly promo trailer? It's mainly pom promo trailer. Okay. But um, again, I, having come from the theater, having been you know mm -hmm. b in production for a long time, I think a copy is, in a sense, copy. Mm -hmm. It's just a different approach, mm -hmm. you know, because it goes back to whatever the commercial might be. So I work with people wherever they ask me to be. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, have, I have worked with people in commercial copy, um, but but I get people who contact me usually for promo and trailer. Yeah. yeah. And they want to talk. Yeah. They want. And that, and I'm open to conversations. I said I always like to find out if we're a match, because I don't want to a waste someone's time. Sure. So I always say let's have a conversation. What are you looking for? I may not be the guy. Um, if you're coming to me saying, you know, I've done 25,000 things and what can you do for me? Like, show mm -hmm. me something. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, I'm not here to show you something. Mm -hmm. right. I'm here to, to support you, to help, to, to help yeah. you. Yeah. And if that, if I can do that and we're a match, I'm, the, I'm in. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and after they work with me, I say, if you ever have an audition, if you ever have a question, once you work with me, you're stuck with me. Mm -hmm. If you have Good a question, you. call me. Just say, hey, can yeah. you, or I did an audition, I'm going to send it in. I got to be, it's got to be there at four. I got two hours. Can you do you have ten minutes to listen to it? Yeah. yeah. And people have done that, and I've given them a little note or two. I say you may not want to reread it, or you might want to do take two, or yeah. three, whatever. But I always feel like if I can be of service and help someone along, and someone reach their dream by that, just mm -hmm. a little little bit afterwards Absolutely. working with me, then I'm yours. Yeah, you know? that's really, really, really because cool. Because what's man. that twenty minutes of my time? Yeah. Right. If it right. means you might get the job. Yeah. Right. And I have to say right. something. Um, I have actually referred a few people. And to thank you. you very much. You're very, very welcome. And I've had rave reviews yes. back from the people that have worked with you because of that. Because I sent them. <laughs> no. No, 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 because, <laughs> no because, because of how you yeah. are. Right. Like, oh Thanks. my God, this is like a whole different level right. of professionalism. And I mean, because. Well, it's what, very direct and. Absolutely. See, you may not yeah. know exactly how big it is what you offer right. mm -hmm. is because well, you're, you're doing it all the people. time. Right. But I'm telling you right now, man, people are really, really digging mm -hmm. working with you. And I have to say something else that, you know, we're, we're Stacy and I are powering a website out there called opencoaches.com. If you haven't been to it, just go to it right now. Um, we're, it's while free we to feature, join and sign up, but David's on there. And absolutely. We feature the top of the top mm -hmm. coaches, David. David, we're so you, you know uh, proud to have yes. you a part of that platform too. Um, and man, I gotta say, just keep doing what you're doing, how you're doing Thank it, you. man, because people Thanks. are just it's raving fun. about you. Yeah. People, it's fun. People from Canada to Florida to to yeah the Northwest, all over, everywhere, yeah. everywhere. It's just, it's fun because it's it's just there's so many people out there who just have this passion, mm -hmm. this joy, this enthusiasm. Yeah. So I'm just there to be yeah. of service. This is a mystery question. The mystery question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've it seen could the get box, you in trouble, so. So you don't know. Oh. That's the mystery. If you would of like it. to read it or I can read it. Whatever you would like. If you read it, can you please read it in a promo voice? Conversationally. <laughs> conversationally. A conversational trailer. Read it in trailer, a conversational please. trailer read. <laughs> wow. A conversational promo read. <laughs> if you went on a oh, if you went on a volunteer vacation, who would you most like to help? I think Women and children around the world have a friend who's into this too. She's, um, they need help around the world. I mean, mm -hmm. there's places all over the world where they don't have water, they don't have, they need help getting food. They, I mean, just that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, go they dig wells somewhere. They yeah. don't have a voice. Yeah. Uh, too many kids are indentured in, you know, slave shop, all those sort of things. Mm -hmm. But find a way to support them, you mm -hmm. know, uh, to give back. Again, giving back, I think, is what we're, why we're here, to mm -hmm. give back. And so that would be kind of a cool place. But I'd like to be in a cool place where it's safe. <laughs> I, I mean, there's so, there's so many places that are like, there are really? terms. There are terms. Yes. terms. I'm a, I happen to be a volunteer, but I want, if it says vacation, I want to yeah. it does say vacation. It does say See, vacation. To me, vacation is like spa, resort, right. and so you then, get a shower <laughs> with the green mask. <laughs> green mask. <laughs> but don't make sure it doesn't crack. <laughs> but if I can help people, then After I'll After you're done <laughs> serving, he gets a hot shower. My goodness. That's, that's all I asked for. It's like serving so a survivor cool, or something. That's the least we can give you, you know. on your volunteer yeah. vacation. David, um, such a such a thrill to have you here. You are such a a beautiful light thank to this you. business thank and you. what you bring and who you you know how you serve and Thanks. and thank you for for serving our viewers. And thank you guys. Knowledge. And thank you guys because you. you like I said earlier, you're such a service to everyone who watches you and you're both of you are like rocket man. Thank you, buddy. Thank so cool. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Um, hey, we'll see you guys next time.
Hey there, I'm David Alden, and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. Pretty cool, man. So listen, practice your reads, read out loud every day, do what the top pros do, be joyful, be enthusiastic, and keep practicing. Well, that's all we have with the uh, very, very cool David Alden. Yeah. Man, I gotta tell you, I just love that guy. I know. <laughs> he I is know. so genuinely cool and just giving mm -hmm. and sweet, and he really, really knows his stuff. Absolutely. Coach with David Alden on Open, Open Coaches, Coaches because com. you don't want to miss out yes. on that. Yes, and keep up with us and David on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love you guys. Thanks for watching, and just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for, for a little, little buzz. buzz. Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demos That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.